Hello, my name is Stephen Daniel with the ACS Services Engineering team. In this video tutorial, I will describe how you can implement remote access control with the Secure Access Link Policy Server. I will show you just how simple it is to define policy as well as demonstrate how our Ask for Approval policy can protect your Avaya assets from unauthorized access. When we introduce a policy server into your Secure Access Link environment, you're immediately given greater command over your Avaya assets. The policy server puts you in complete control of your environment by allowing you to define one or more policies that you can then attach to any or all of your systems. We won't cover all policies here, but some of the more common ones are protocol, time of day, and product family restrictions, or an ask for approval policy where remote access requests of any kind must be explicitly granted. With ask for approval, an email notification will be sent to the security administrator where he or she must accept or deny the connection request. Here, we show a logical representation of how various policies can be stacked to form several layers of remote access protection. In this diagram, we're using a single catch-all policy where every request requires approval. Also note how you can still make exclusions to any of your policies, like here for example, where we've excluded Avaya's robust and powerful automated tools Let's move on to a demonstration of the Ask for Approval policy. The first thing we'll need to do is define our Ask for Approval policy for all devices. Begin by accessing your policy server with the admin credentials. Once authenticated, click on the Policy tab. Scroll to the bottom of the page and ensure that Set All Permissions is checked. In the Assign Filter drop-down box, select Ask for Approval. Finally, on the bottom right of the page, click Done. A dialog window will appear asking you to confirm. Click OK. You can now see for the applicable actions there is an access right of Ask for Approval. That's all there is to it. Now, it's important to understand that by creating this policy, you're also restricting all of Avaya's automated tools from accessing your devices, something you may not want. For this reason, Avaya recommends that you create and assign a filter that will exclude these tools from the Ask for Approval policy. To create this exclusion, begin by clicking on the Assign Filter link at the bottom of the page. In the Assign Filters to Permission box, click on Create a New Filter. Give it a name, provide a description. Now, from the Access Right drop down box, Select Always Allow. Then finally, in the expression box, you're going to add an entry for each tool with the user ID designation. I'll go ahead and paste the five user IDs here. You can leave the time window blank. Now as mentioned, there are a total of five user IDs needed for Avaya's automated tools to work. EXP and A2R are for the Expert Alarming and Diagnostic Service. PI is for Polling System Configuration Data. Cell Cred MGR allows the cell gateway to obtain required device credentials, and ART allows devices to be onboarded. Once you've added these entries, click Save to return to the Assign Filters to Permissions page. Now for the last step, you'll want to make sure that your newly created filter is in the Selected Filters area. Once you've confirmed this, click on Save Changes. This completes the process. You should now see a small red funnel next to each access right showing how this filter will be excluded from the Ask for Approval policy. With the policy now set, let's see it in action. Dale, an engineer from Avaya, has received an alarm ticket for a CM media server and would like to make an SSH connection. If we watch as the connection attempt goes through its progression, the cell gateway will detect the connection and see that a policy of Ask for Approval is in place. It will alert the Avaya user that approval must first be granted before establishing a connection, while at the same time, send an email to the Avaya security administrator of your company. The administrator will log into the policy server, navigate to the pending request tab, then accept or deny the request. Let's go ahead and accept this one. Once accepted, the remote access session will resume, allowing the SSH connection to complete with Avaya's ASG authentication. If for any reason the administrator needed to terminate the connection, 
they can navigate to the remote tab and end all active sessions with the end all button or any individual session by clicking on the end link. As you can see, the Avaya Secure Access Link Policy Server is a great solution. It not only lets you enforce more granular control over your Avaya assets, but does so in a way where you can customize a set of policies tailored to meet the needs of your business. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.